Uh, hello and welcome to this week's announcements with Amira and Karima. Uh, first up, we have Liter- Literacy Week Service as Action Cast Opportunity for MHS. For Literacy Week and International Fair, students are asked to record a video in their mother tongue. This video will be shared with the students in early childhood and lower school, as well as MSGS based on the book featured. Submit videos on the PSL activity by February 20th. You may read a children's book and show illustrations in your mother tongue or book talk, your favorite book. It can be a book about uh, you like now or your favorite book when you were younger. ACS is International Fair is on the 27th of February. Well done to our students who participated in the AMC American Mathematics Contest. This year, 10 middle and high school students from ACS Doha com- competed in the AMC. American Mathematics Contest, and they w- there were 25 multiple choice questions for 75 minutes. Every participant received participation certificates, and one student from ACS Doha got first place. ACS Future Impact. For the past three months, four teams of students from ACS Doha have been working on entries for ACS Future Impact, a competition involving all four ACS campuses, as well as some of our partner schools in the UK. The competition requires students to investigate environmental issues in their local area, come up with an idea for how their school can reduce its negative environmental impact, and develop a proposal to communicate their solution to others. The teams that enter the competitions are Grade 2, ACS Doha Eco Friends, and their idea is to reduce the use of fossil fuels in Qatar and increase the use of the renewable energy sources. Uh, for grade three, we have the solar scientists, students Elias, Oscar, Elijah, Qasim, Ala, and Joshua. And our, the mentor is Julia. So our um, idea to install uh, solar panels on the roof of the school in order to increase our use of clean, renewable energy. For grade four, we have the water guardians, and their idea is to install a system that reuses water waste from our hand basins to flush the toilets in order to conserve water usage. And in grade five, we have the compass crew, uh, and their idea is to install composting bins at the school to create compost for the plant beds in order to reduce food wastage. All the students and their mentors have done incredibly well, especially given that much of their work had to be done while school was online. However, ACS Doha, ACS Doha has to pick just one winning team to go forward to compete against the teams in UK, and in the next stage of the competition, the entries were judged by um, the entries were judged by Rachel and Ala. And I am delighted to inform you all that the winning team is the Solar Scientist from Grade Three. Congratulations! The judges said all four projects were amazing, impactful, and could and should be implemented at ACS Doha. The work that went into them, as well as the impact on sustainability at ACS, should be commended. All the students who took part will receive certificates of participation. Well done for all their hard work, ingenuity, and desire to make ACS more sustainable. Hi everyone, there will be an art exhibition this week from 6th from six to 10th March. Creativity, creativity on Edge, the grade 12 art exhibition is coming. Mark your calendars 6th th- through 10th March in the theater. Grade 12s have been preparing for this exhibition to share their work from their two-year art course. More information about scheduling visits is to be shared soon. I hope you have a great day. Bye! In other news, the school will be hosting a visual arts night on February 24th, showcasing music and the new short drama production, Flushed. This is the synopsis of the production. It was the winter of 2022, and the school had just been vandalized, and the principal is currently investigating who might be the perpetrator. All high school students are called in for questioning and seem to be the opposite of a likely stereotype. The only piece of evidence is a TikTok video online of the culprit damaging the bathroom and stealing all of the toilet tops, leaving all restrooms on campus in disarray. The principal has threatened to cancel prom if the culprit is not found and revealed immediately. All students are quick to gossip and accuse each other of vandalism. Friends are quick to turn on each other. 
Is it easier to lie or tell the truth? Whatever the answer, the question still remains. Who will step up to save prom? I encourage everyone to tune in and support the students performing in both the production and the musical performances. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back to Roving Reporter. After doing an interview with Mr. Jose, I was inspired to do a beach cleanup with my friends and family, and this is how it went. Hi, this is Maria reporting live. So last week I did the beach cleanup I was telling you guys about with Deep Guitar and I had a lot of fun. It's a really good activity to do with um, family or friends during the weekend. They also have uh, beach cleanups during the week if you want to do that. Um, they have like organized beach cleanups or you can um, organize one with them like for just your group and yeah you can contact them through social media i contacted them through their instagram which is deep qatar um that's the instagram <laughs> and yeah i really recommend this for any families who want to have fun whilst cleaning up qatar about two 